Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and I know your feeds are probably full of iOS 7 stuff today, but some lighter stuff. Uh, Sign Engine Mod, for those of you who don't know, is a ROM built on top of Android that essentially adds a ton of features and customization that the stock version of Android doesn't have. So custom pull downs and toggles and shortcuts and themes and a ton more system settings that all enhance Android. And there are a ton of other ROMs that do this too. CyanogenMod is just one of them. But I happen to use CyanogenMod as basically my go-to ROM for any time I want to put a device as close to stock Android as possible where if I don't like the skin. So I did this with my Super Nexus project. I've done this in tons of videos in the past. I don't like TouchWiz, I don't like HTC Sense. Whenever I want to put a device closer to stock Android, my first bet is usually CyanogenMod. Now these guys have always been ahead of the curve in terms of development, like they recently made that awesome camera app called Focal, if you guys haven't heard of it, that's pretty awesome too. But recently they've shifted gears and just started churning out a ton of awesome stuff in addition to CyanogenMod. Uh, and that's kind of the way CyanogenMod's always been. If you look back, pretty much all of the newest features in each new version of Android, you can probably guarantee half of them showed up somewhere in a ROM for a rooted version of Android like CyanogenMod. But there are always quirks with CyanogenMod and every ROM has had the same problem. The installation process is a nightmare. If you ever ask someone why they haven't installed CyanogenMod or why they haven't installed AOKP or some other ROM on their device, it's because they're either scared of the rooting process or it's too complicated or there's too many steps or there's too many risks for failure and it's just not practical for people. So today, CyanogenMod has decided to take the full next step forward to go fully mainstream. So CyanogenMod went out and raised $7 million to build a better version of Android. So they plan to do Android better than Google itself. Now a lot of the headlines have sort of misconstrued the facts and made it seem like they're building their own separate operating system to compete against Android. That's not exactly true. In fact, that's not true at all. Essentially, they're keeping a lot of Google code and they're using Android as the sort of foundation for this new experience, but then they're gonna be branching out and adding, like I said, a ton of new things that they do best uh, and making a totally brand new experience. So this may feel very different from Android when you use it, but it's built on top of an Android foundation. Now the goal they have for this is still really close to a sort of competitive nature, it's market share. They wanna be the number three spot in terms of market share behind the traditional Android and iOS. And you'd be surprised how close they are to actually doing that right now. See, Android with its incredibly convoluted and difficult installation process still has eight million users who have been registered. That means there are 8 million users who have ticked the box that says, I want to send my information off to Cyanogen when I install this. Most people don't tick that box and they estimate there's somewhere between 15 and 25 million Cyanogen mod users who have gone through that hectic process and rooted their device just to install it. So Windows Phone has the backing of Microsoft and their billions of dollars of revenue and they just keep pumping money into Windows Phone and it's not growing nearly as quickly as CyanogenMod is. So Cyanogen is really close to already being in the number three spot, way ahead of BlackBerry, way ahead of the other fringe sort of operating systems like Firefox OS and Ubuntu Phone OS. Uh, this has a really good shot. Now, speaking of funding, $7 million is a lot of money for a software project like this for development. And if you were an investor investing $7 million confident dollars into something, you would expect to get your $7 million back out of your investment in the near future. But if you check out the blog post that details everything, it'll be below that like button. Essentially what they've said is that finances are not a primary concern. So don't expect to see ads in CyanogenMod anytime soon if that's what you guys were thinking. But the funny thing is, I think this is a project that is going to take off because of one main underrated reason. And a lot of people have skimmed over it, but it's pretty important. It's the new installer. Like I mentioned earlier, installing CyanogenMod on most devices today, or even any ROMs, is a nightmare. Right now, if the average person wants to install CyanogenMod on, say, their Galaxy S4, they have to unlock the bootloader if it's locked, and they have to figure out if it's locked or not. That takes some steps. Then you have to root the device. That takes some steps. You have to wipe it, flash the cache, get it completely clean, then install it, install CyanogenMod and the G apps. And all this stuff is just, there's so many places to fail. There's so many ways it can go wrong that people just don't wanna go through. And that hassle is completely wiped out with the proposed new CyanogenMod installer, which looks to have a clean, simple user interface to get regular people to be able to install this. Now, like I said, 
There is about 8 million registered CyanogenMod users out there. Uh, I think that number will blow up when the average person gets the opportunity to install a brand new awesome experience on their device without a whole ton of hectic steps. If they do this right, this will be a key feature of the new CyanogenMod. The new installer for getting CyanogenMod installed on your device will be the number one feature in the new CyanogenMod. But what's funny is the most impressive thing to me and what's not even announced yet is that Cyanogen has a hardware partner, an unannounced hardware partner they're gonna be announcing in the next couple of weeks for this new project. Like, that that's really legit because once you get a hardware partner and a new software project going together side by side, working with each other, that is really, really important. Most people will never get that sort of support. My fingers are crossed that it's a manufacturer that we already know has a reputation for a high quality hardware. So I'm thinking HTC, Oppo, you guys, you guys have a pretty good idea of what you would probably wanna say and you can leave that in the comment below. But uh, I think that can have some massive potential for the 2014 competition when we see a whole bunch more devices released in, you know, well, the Android stuff, iOS stuff, and CyanogenMod stuff. So at the end of the day, what does this mean for Google and for Cyanogen? For Google, not that much. I mean, the number one thing they're probably concerned about here is licensing. And we've seen a lot of information actually uh, posted by the people who are working on this about licensing and how they plan to work on that and get that sorted out. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then for Cyanogen, it's just all hard work from here on out. I have my fingers crossed that this works. I wish them the best of luck. It's a super ambitious project, but if it's successful, it's gonna be a game changer. I have no doubts that next year is going to be very different if this goes according to plan. And one last thing, I highly suggest reading through the Cyanogen Mod AMA. It's on the first page of Reddit right now as I speak. And a lot of the answers in that AMA have not even been published anywhere else yet. So there's a lot of information, some cool stuff that I haven't talked about, like the uh, CyanogenMod account, where you basically get to sync device settings from device to device with CyanogenMod on it. Some cool unannounced stuff in there. So you should check that out. That'll be the first link below that like button. So if you want to read through all of the answers, that'll be there. And uh, that's it, I'll head out of here. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you wanna to subscribe to see more videos like this, there's more upcoming, including a review of this device, but that's just a sneak peek. And uh, Kush, if you're watching this, HTC, HTC. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.